You read it. I read about what to do. This <laughs> is—it's just a run. Burla, but 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 blah 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 blah. Whoo wee! Way to start off the morning. But we uh, we're gonna be doing some fun activity today. We're gonna be doing a uh, a run that was not of my choosing. I don't even know if I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay. Oh, it's 10k. Oh, so we're we're with everybody that just there just to have fun yeah, and at the at the get, finish just line. To drink beer afterwards. There's beer at the finish line. That see that's gonna be the the motivator for me to to run to run this solid three miles. Which three three miles is not really that big of a deal. Maybe back in my heyday in the military, three miles would have been completed in a solid, I would say probably 22 minutes. It would probably have been my my shoot and go time for a solid three miles. But nowadays it's probably a solid 45 minutes. But anyway, we're gonna throw on the GoPro when we're doing this because I, I, it might be kind of interesting. I don't know, or I could completely destroy my my chesty mount. We're gonna be going through mud, so I probably will be destroying my chesty mount. But I'm gonna do it for you guys. But before then, she wants to get a smoothie. I don't think it's a great grand idea, but you know what? I'm not gonna say no to a dark chocolate banana strawberry smoothie. That's not it. It's the next one. Hey, look at this, guys. Look, look at that right there. See that? The GS. That's actually the new uh, Guggen Squad logo. We just put a bunch of these up for sale. You guys will get one of these with your order. Every single order. I think we signed about 500 of those. Myself, John, Perrick, and Flair sat down and signed those for about an hour for you guys. But if you guys make an order on the new Guggen Squad apparel, you guys instantly get one of these signed uh, postcard dealios. They're pretty cool looking. And uh, we redone, we have redone literally everything. I'm talking. Every shirt, everything's been redone. Like these old shirts, we don't even know if we should use these, this logo anymore, but that's a new Guggen Squad logo. I thought you guys should at least see it. If you guys want to purchase any sort of Guggen apparel, you should at least check it out because it is now, we've completely rebranded the entire site. Like everything is being redone. The new site, we're doing, redoing a new site. We're redoing everything for you guys. It's gonna be pretty, uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about this whole rebranding deal. It's pretty, it's pretty epic. But yeah, anyway, go check it out. It'll be linked down below. Everybody that orders apparel will get a signed postcard from the guys saying thank you for supporting us through this, through this little endeavor to try to change the fishing world. That's, that's our goal here, change, change. Not a good speech? This wasn't. No, it wasn't. Whatever you were doing. This change, like go to the other side. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, Dave's are really serious. You got a Lululemon headband. Why do they have Superman outfits on? I don't know, they're being cute, I guess. Oh, I had to leave the good camera back of the car. Bringing this one, because I have not, no clue what to expect here. Didn't want to leave the camera just laying around, so we brought the cell phone just in case someone wanted to steal this thing. They could, they could take the phone. So there's a lot of people here. It's got a good, uh, got a good manure smell, because we're on a farm doing this. I like, I like, I like the good smell of manure and mud. Make sure you keep my mouth closed, apparently.
someone threw away their shoes. Well, that was fun. That was a good time. It was worth coming out of here. It is very, very, very windy. Oh my God. They're a trash bag for shoes. It is so bad. It's so windy. Imagine being on the water right now. Imagine being on the water right now. I'm gonna switch back over to the, the big camera because we're on the cell phone right now. Did I bring other shoes or no? I brought these. Oh, you brought me shoes? I brought all of them. Oh, yeah. I brought you. Oh, stuff. these socks were white. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, this mud run thing was kind of fun. I got a little bit of a trophy here. You know, who doesn't want a, a trophy for their hard work and dedication to finishing that three mile run? As John Weeb would say. Ah, it's good. It's good. Look at this. Ah, this is the hat we wore today. I got some mail too, I gotta kinda do for you guys. I also realized that I had not changed my peel box down below. So you guys actually, if you guys are still sending stuff to this peel box, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave it open for a little bit until for probably about two months to make sure that all the mail that you guys have sent has came through and is not uh, being sent somewhere else back to you guys. I love my, my little trophy here. I'm hanging up over here on my, my good old fashioned wall. For all you guys, you guys have been on this channel for a little bit. I know that I've kind of messed up my back in the military. That was kind of like a, I might have pushed myself to a, to a limit that's kind of like, mm, I probably shouldn't have done that. Tomorrow I'm going to really, really, really regret that, I think, because right now I can feel my back is killing me. But you know what? She wanted to do it. I wanted to knock it out with her. I've never done one before. Yeah, well, in the military, they, they, they make those like, obstacle courses, like, multiply by 10, and they do it, like, instead of, like, being three miles, it's, like, a lot more than three miles. Anyway, I'm gonna go shower, get this mud off me, and I'll back at you. All right, we're good. I got the video edited. Took a couple hours. It's uploading right now. Let's go. I'm gonna be 1,000% honest with you guys. I'm kind of regretting doing that mud run this morning. My back is killing me. Like, not not doing too well. But I did change the uh, PO box for you guys. The the, the Google one that we're actually using. I gotta I gotta open this mail today, which I'm going to do. Don't worry. Oh yeah. It's a life right here. I always have to have a computer with us. But we got a. Uh, I'm gonna open up that mail when I get back from uh, looking at some property, because uh, I need I need to open it. There's some some long big boxes in there. But the Googans are looking for stuff to put on the walls, like they need something for their house. So their house is looking a lit, a little bit on the uh, the, the side. So send them some stuff. We could throw up on the wall. It'd be kind of cool. And it is hot. It is 87 degrees here. Holy crap. Look at all the specs. <coughs> oh yeah, this view is glorious. This is a glorious view. We're gonna unbox this, some of the stuff that was sent to me. I ended up not filming dinner, not filming me eating ice cream, not filming me hanging out with Avery. So that's what you guys have missed. And I looked at some chunks of land. That's pretty much what you guys have missed from the last time that I talked to you. But now we got, we got some stuff to unbox. I got this thing, which is kind of interesting. And I think tomorrow's video I'm going to do a, uh, I think I'm gonna make it like a subscriber bait challenge. I think I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna use tomorrow. I think that's all I'm gonna fish with is uh, sending baits by subscribers. So hopefully I got some more. I think I'm gonna kick it off with this one. This big package that was already kind of slightly open. Holy shit, it's a fish. Longest TV rubber turkla. Boom, it's something to stick on the wall. Love it. Thank you so much, Caden. This is a pretty badass piece of wood here, buddy. This thing's gonna make its way onto the wall. Probably at the Guggen House, actually. I think it might make its way onto the Guggen House wall. Just put a little, little thing on it. It's pretty sick. Hell, this is pretty freaking awesome. Ryan Starr joined the National Guard because, uh, because of me. That's pretty fucking, it, it's pretty sick. So Ryan, I'll, I, will, I will get this up to the dudes. I'll have them sign it and then they will send it back to you. That easy, that easy peasy. Guggen for life. So I'm gonna, this is freaking, this is awesome. All right, Adrian Munez, went on a trip. Got this medallion right here that he sent to me. Uh, he was originally gonna give it to his grandma, but she passed away. I'm, I'm very sorry for your loss, but this is freaking, this is crazy. This, he had this, Pope Francis himself blessed this little medallion right here. And he asked if I was gonna treat it with respect. Oh yeah, well, that's so freaking awesome, Adrian. I'm, I'm gonna have all the dudes sign this stuff like you asked. That's cool. That's awesome, thank you so much. All right, we're getting down to the last two here. All oh, these are the ones with that nasty stuff inside. 
Last one. Here we go. It says flag on it. It's from Specialist Hudgens, Scott Fighting Eagles, Bagram Airfield. This is from freaking Afghanistan. I got a flag coming in from Afghanistan. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? This could be really cool. Bagram Airfield, huh? I've been there before. Oh, big red one. Boom. Honest to God. Honestly, God, don't have what this. Don't know what this patch is. Hopefully, hopefully, there's a letter in here that explains that second. That second patch. Our names. Oh, it's our names. What's up, dudes? Cameron, Scott, and Travis. What is going on, dude? Guys, not dudes. We're all subscribers as well. Cameron and Scott are probably ambassadors. I mean, I target walleye. What has flag unit patches? That is so freaking awesome. Look at this. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that. When was it flown? February 27, 2017, on a Chinook. Aircraft tail. I want to be honest. This is pretty freaking badass. I got two really badass things in this uh, in, this, in today's mail unboxing. This is cool. This is gonna get framed because this was printed on a really nice paper. This will be framed, and uh, of course, this is gonna be framed. You know, you guys know what I mean. Thank you so much, Cameron Scott and Travis, and to the two pilots that that uh, let you crazy bastards fly this flag in name of Lunkers TV. That's that's cool. That is awesome. Thank you guys. Well, that is that is kind of it for this kind of a. Uh, Let's do the old nice stat thing here and zoom in because it's very important. Well, that is it for today's video. You know what that means? Tomorrow's video is going to be back to fishing. Today was kind of hanging out with, hanging out with the old, the old child, my my daughter Avery. She's 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 like she's a good one. She's real talk. She's talkative. Am I gonna might go watch some baseball, and I go to bed because I gotta get up at three thirty in the morning because we were driving. I know I said this earlier, but we're going to East Texas. We're not going bed fishing though. We're gonna be punching some grass, throwing some swim baits, and praying to little baby Jesus that the wind will be calm tomorrow. We need the wind to be calm tomorrow. It's saying it's gonna be 20 to 25, which could be real bad. Real bad. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh!